Last time on KX65 Time Attack. We introduced Adams Motorsports Park in Riverside, California. We broke down all the mods on our KX65. And we ran the fastest lap that we possibly could. Which was a 55.95 on an empty track. So the mods that we have on the bike for this run are the brand new set of mag wheels that I have installed on the KX65 and brand new PMT slicks. Both came from 73 Motor Parts. I did a video on them and I'll link that up above. So unlike last time, Adams was completely packed. SoCal Supermoto had a full class. We had a whole bunch of other Supermoto riders there. And in addition to that, there were a bunch of both adult and child carters, so it was a packed day. Alright, let's get out there and get our feet wet for session one. Keep in mind we gotta scrub in these new PMT tires. I took the first lap and a few others a little easy, just wearing out the coating on the tires, getting them up to temp, and getting comfortable with the track again. and warming up I started pushing the pace a little more and I started watching the other riders I wanted to make sure I was staying out of their way I'm on a 65 I'm not going nearly as fast as they are in the straights I can't catch a few in the corners every now and then and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't you know going to jam somebody who was a little slower than I am this is a track day after all not a race Here's a little bit of foreshadowing for things to come. Didn't really think much of it right here and just kind of kept going. And this is pretty much the first nice clean lap that I've had in the first session. I was pretty happy with my starting pace. I was running about a 56.20, which was pretty close to my personal best from the previous time we were here, and it was very early in the day. All right, before I get to the sweet, sweet lap, I wanted to put in a little compilation of every single pass on me during the entire day. This is throughout every session that I ran here. <laughs>
All right, and it's time to jump into the best lap of the entire day. And it happened in the first session, which I was actually fairly astonished by. But this is it. With the mag wheels and a little bit more seat time, I shaved a second and a half off my personal best. I was pretty thrilled with that. So normally I'd go through my second, my third session, but it kind of was a steady decline from here. That foreshadowing that I showed a little bit earlier in the video came back to bite real hard after the first session. So there were certain turns, uh, namely the ones that were heavily banked, that would cause the bike to just die while I was in the middle of them. It would just lose power. And I thought, oh, it must be a fuel starvation issue. But then it started happening on pretty flat, even turns. And that's when I just decided to call it a day. Overall, can't complain. Shaved a second and a half off my personal best, had a ton of fun doing it, and I know I'll be back to shave it down even more. So thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you on the next one.